Wasn't Kazuha like sitting up on one of these? I think it was like right over here, wasn't he? All right. We are at 62 pity. Uh, it is a guarantee, so he is coming home. The question is how early will he come home? Hopefully not hard pity. But we're not gonna make the same mistake we made last time and get two by an accident if that happens. So let's just do single pulls and maybe, maybe a high zone. But knowing me, probably not though. It's taking it real, real slow. Taking it real slow, real careful. Mm. 65. 65, 66, oof, 67, please, let's not go to 80, please, 68, four star, 68, like a first little fragments, nice, nice, just like 68, 69, already forgot. I think we're at 70 or 69, I think. 69, 76 my prediction. Oh God, you predict 78? Oh no. I was hoping for like an early 60. Hmm, yeah, I think it's gonna be like 60. Or no, sorry, 76, 75, something like that. You're taking my primos, Kazawa. Stop. It's enough. It's supposed to be right there. Yeah, no, no Heizo, apparently. I don't want to keep pulling for Heizo later either. He's fun though, but ah, he can wait. He can wait. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Might have to go all the way to 80. Or not. It's hard to watch. Oh my god, I'm gonna be down to like 2,000 Prima Gems in a second. I had like 5,000 before. There he is. There he is. All guaranteed. Boom. Yeah, there's not really much of a anticipation there because we all knew that was gonna happen. But I do want the alley flash here, but I don't think it's worth it. Especially because I'll get a rain slasher or any other weapon that I don't want. There he is. There he is. He look. It looks so unnatural in my account. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I have six million more. We'll probably be down to about three million afterwards. I'll probably just go six, six, six across the board. I want to see how close I am to the next four star. It's got to be somewhat close. I'm not gonna actively go for it, but okay, here we go. This isn't high zone, then it's just too bad. Yep, damn. Rip the dream. Rip the dream. Uh, 60 of those. Cool. As one Boom. travels the world. I keep missing his dialogue. All right, now the question is, uh, where does Kazuha fit? Look at him. Look at him in his glory. Look at him. That kind of already grouped, but yeah, that's <laughs> that is so satisfying. And they're all dead too. That is so satisfying, man. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this. And I also love how you can do this too. Like just glide or go up in the air. Like, oh, but yeah, the, the Spectre nerf. Yeah, let's try that. But let's see how bad they got nerfed. Honestly, I'm totally fine with it because fighting Spectres were so annoying. Let's do a Kazuha test. Let's roll this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, that's, oh my God, dude. It's a, it's a wrap now. Yeah, farming Spectre is going to be so much easier. They actually got, I can't believe they didn't get sucked in before. That's like kind of nuts. So basically what's happening is you take one element. So like I hit with Bennett, I swirl that. 
And then Bennett gets a... Yeah, okay. Power damage bonus. So he gets an increase on that. And then basically, any more damage that Bennett does... Yeah. So that means if I... Oh, God. Okay, well, that's not... Hold on. <laughs> At a 46 Hydra bonus damage, which is just my goblet. I swirl that. And then she gets... Yeah, 78. Okay, I got you. I got you. So yeah, elemental damage bonus. So now she does this. Gotcha. Oh yeah, that's a little higher. Okay, that's pretty simple. And then if we do electro, let's try that. Shine down. And now Ryan should be. Yeah, 145. Oh my gosh. I mean, she already gets her energy converted into it, so it's already kind of high, but 145 is, that's nuts. Honestly, like, I have a lot of fun with Aphonia's sword because he regenerates energy for the whole party and himself. So it's nice to like, you know, have your uh, your alt on cooldown. But at the same time, I did prepare the irons thing, and this is good too, it's fun too, because you get more EM, so the higher the buff. But I don't know, man, it, it's a hard choice to, to pick. Like, I go back and forth between Aphonia's and Iron's thing, but. I don't know. They're both good, honestly. And the burst like swirls over and over again. Oh yeah. Time to go. So can I do? Okay, hold on. Just to test it out. Let's see. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I still have my burst up still. 688. And I might upgrade them later, but I'll leave it for like like that for now. It's like a bunch of cryo and higher. You know, let's do this. Make sure to keep up. So let's say I apply a hydro. Do that. And then it swirls Hydro and Cryo and everybody's frozen. Yeah, that's awesome. Because <laughs> he's swirling two elements. So he's freezing anybody in the in the circle. Question is though, who goes higher up in the air? Venti or Kazuo? That's the question. Let's try Kazuo. Kind of went, it kind of doesn't go that high. All right, once again, we got our two pillars here. We got the face behind us. We're going to see how far. Oh, he looks pretty good. He got like, I'd say about a foot above the two pillars. Hmm. I think Venti hasn't beat. Venti hasn't beat. Also, the thing about Venti too is like if you're playing co-op, this is this thing stays here for a while. So you can use it again if you want to. And your friends can too, so. It's pretty close though. I'd say it's, it's about the same, but I think Venti has the slight edge. So yeah, I think Venti wins the height, but the quickness though, I'd say probably goes to Kazuo, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, they're, I'd say probably the same height, but I think Venti, like I said, I think Venti wins by like just that much. So all in all, Kazuo is awesome. Honestly, I really enjoy him. Uh, and like the first day I got him, but I will say the one thing I do like about Genshin is variety. You know, so like I like if I don't want to play Kazuo, I can play Venti. If I don't want to play Venti, I can play Circros because they all kind of serve the same purpose for the most part. Um, although Hyoverse did kind of go a little overboard, I feel like <laughs> with Kazuo's skills, especially compared to an Archon. But but just because I have Kazuo now, that does not mean that I will not play my other animal characters. Like I will most certainly pick Venti still throughout my travels and throughout fighting and especially in Spiral Abyss for sure. And that's the thing too about like all these characters in Genshin. I feel like it's never that bad of a thing to have two characters who do similar things, you know, like because you can always use them somewhere, you know, especially in Spiral Abyss. Like I cannot tell you how many times I needed to have Venti two times, you know, like on one half and the other half. So. It's not bad to have, you know, like Sir Cross and Venti or Venti and Kazuo, you know, to have both. So it's a good thing because you can always use the other character in a different way somewhere else. It's kind of like how Yelan came out and everybody was like, Yelan is another Xing Chou. But for me, that was great. I mean, I would love another Xing Chou. I actually still have yet to try his DPS build, which I heard is pretty good. 
Uh, right now I have him on a, just a support build. He's like a support Kazuo. He's just all EM, 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 EM. And uh, you know, just, you know, the rest. I could switch him out with Jean's artifacts and give him like a DPS kind of style. Honestly, either way, he's freaking great. Like all the way through DPS or support. Um, I run Iron Sting on him, but I go back and forth like Iron Sting or Fafonius. Depends on what I'm doing, you know? If it's like hard crowd control, I usually like to do Fafonius. If it's uh, uh, one target, probably Iron Sting. I don't know, it just all depends. Constellations, I, I know his C2 is really good. That'd be good too though. Yeah, that's kind of like busted. The 200 EM for everybody. That's, that's kind of cool too, but I, I feel like his C1 and C2 are really good. I'm gonna stick to 688 for now. Maybe in the future I'll, I'll crown him possibly. Um, I feel like Kaz was kind of like a low investment. I mean, you want to invest a lot in him because he's so good, but in terms of like having to go for the crown, I don't know if I will or not. Especially with Yamiya coming up. But yeah, I mean, he's, he's great, man. I mean, I think we all knew that by now. He came out a long time ago. I am kind of confused on how people didn't pull for Kazuo the first time because they thought he was another Venti. Like, I, you know, I guess I can understand it, but I don't know, man. Like, if I was playing the game back then and I could see what Kazuo could do back then, I most certainly would have pulled for him. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought he was just another another Venti, but I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. He's back now, so here's a chance to get him. If you don't, if you don't want him, it is what it is. I can understand Sumeru coming around, but honestly, yeah, he's great, man. He's great. It's just so universal. And next is Yue Mia. And surely we'll get her. Right? Right? 